this past year has been a really good year, I think, for our band and um, for the record that we made. It really um, was an accomplishment to finish something that was really different for us and um, kind of new musical territory, but then to be able to take it out on stage and do it live almost brought another piece of the puzzle to the music, I think. It was it could expand on stage and in the different um, arenas and venues that we got to play it in. It was it was a really good um, year in terms of being able to do different musical things. It seems like with this record, it maybe was the other way around. Like, things we had been experimenting with live, like improvisation, um, loosening up sort of our, our format, trying different song structures. I think those things started on, on stage, and we took those ideas into the studio and tried to commit those to tape, um, which is actually harder than it seems. I mean, that's why a lot of people don't do it. Um, so we had this sort of, for us, it was ambitious to, you know, have segments of improvisation that lasted five minutes or um, something like that. But I think it started mostly on stage, and then we took it to the studio, and then we um, kind of retranslated it into our live show you know, kind of for the second time. And it was very, very rewarding and sort of freeing to be able to just um, kind of make things up on the spot. We were very unsure after finishing the record how we, it was going to be perceived by both our fans and the critics. And we really had no expectations. We did it for ourselves. We felt like we needed to move forward and step outside ourselves and and just make a change so that we could still enjoy the process of, of writing and performing. So uh, to have then people actually enjoy it and get it was just you know sort of the icing on the cake. But we we felt like we had nothing to lose. You know, it was our seventh album, and if it you know if it failed in the public, we felt like we had succeeded at you know reigniting the desire to play music for ourselves. So we we felt lucky that. People seem to understand what we wanted, we're trying to do. For people that are just discovering Slater Kinney with this record and are unfamiliar with our previous work, to me, it's somewhat of a relief that they're not taking into consideration everything we've done and they don't have expectations. Oh, I wish they sounded like this. Why, aren't, why didn't they do an album that sounded like my favorite album? You know, they, they just come into a brand new and there's this enthusiasm and I definitely noticed in the demographic and the makeup of the audience, the people that were just there for the new music, and they brought our other, you know, audience members up, I thought. You know, suddenly people that just wanted to hear, like, this kind of heavy, raw music were raising their fists, and the other people were like, oh, okay, yeah, the new songs will raise our fists, too. But it's, it's intense to be around so long and have people, you know, just thinking that they know exactly who you are and what you're capable of, and they, you know, want you to live up to all those expectations of, of who they think you are. So to me, I thought it was freeing. Like someone is, they're with us in the present tense and that's where we exist as a band. I think the most important thing for people to um, get about Slitter Kinney is that we're about the, the music, you know, that we are really opinionated, strong-willed, you know, three different people, but really what we're, what we're working towards is this music that's really important to us, you know, and that um, we try to always present that first and foremost, you know, and, and to, to let that speak, you know, because sometimes that's the best way to communicate all these different things we have to say.